it's me. ASMR. Darling. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, my little darlings. Thank you for joining me today. I've been very excited about doing this little ramble video. What do my friends and family think of my ASMR?
years of middle school, three years of high school, best friends with her for six, for six years. And she's on Twitter making fun of me for my ASMR thing, making jokes about it, saying my name, literally putting my name out on Twitter, all this stuff about it. And everyone's just like laughing, com not commenting, tweeting, laughing, and favoriting, and retweeting. And you gotta think that this is to everyone in my old high school. And this best friend, old best friend of mine, best friend, right? She stopped being one of my friends. I think it's because I went to a different high school and she was like mad about it. I don't know. I still don't know that to this day why she doesn't like me. I never did anything to her. But, yeah. But you never know. There could have been something I could have done. I just didn't know. But, oh well. Anyway, she was just making fun of me on Twitter. And I tweeted back at her, basically arguing with her, asking her why she's why she's being a bully, why she being mean and stuff, and like it's just ASMR, it's it's an art and it's it's beautiful. And she basically related it to pornography and was just shouting it to everyone on Twitter. So at that point you can imagine how I feel. You can imagine how I felt. I felt embarrassed. I felt ashamed. I was crying. I've never dealt with bullying before. And to have it online like that. And I didn't even follow her at the time. I found it through someone else's Twitter that she was making fun of me. She basically told me to get over myself because it's a free world and she can say whatever she wants. But you know what? Yeah. She might have she might have made fun of me that day or whatever. But look where I am now. <laughs> I had 20,000 subscribers at the time of her making fun of me. But look where I am now. Feels good. <laughs> you don't guys know, you guys don't know how crushed I was situation that day. I didn't even want to continue ASMR. I didn't watch an ASMR video for two months after that. I didn't want to even talk about it, think about it, have anything to do with it. You gotta realize that. It's just, it was really hard for me at that, after that whole thing happened. Because it felt like everyone thought I was weird. Everyone thought I was strange. Everyone was just some random girl that whispered into a microphone. And because of that whole Twitter thing that happened, she, that girl that I was best friends with for six years, is the reason that I got doxxed online. If you don't know what doxxed is, is basically posting a bunch of personal information online, and that's illegal because it's dangerous. Not only is it dangerous, but it's scary. If it weren't for her and people somehow figuring out her Twitter and everything, people wouldn't have figured out a bunch of information about me. It just, I don't want to say it, but it somehow it connected. I know how it connected all together, but I don't want to put it all out on the internet right now. six years is watching this. Let me just say, this is so cliche, but thank you. Thank you so much. Because if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to learn how to get past being bullied like that or even getting so heartbroken over something. Get so heartbroken over some girl that I was friends with for so long. You honestly have helped me get past the worst in my YouTube career. So, thank you so much. Because look where I am now. Maybe if that didn't happen, I wouldn't be where I am now. So, 
for you. And so, yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. And because of you also, let me just continue. I am not afraid to talk about ASMR anymore to anyone. I've learned to get past it. I've learned that it's not something I should be ashamed of anymore. It's not something I should be scared of anymore. It's not something I should be embarrassed about anymore. It's something that I have always loved for three years. It's something that I've always been a community that I've always been a part of for three years. So thank you for letting me get past my fear and shame in my shame. So 
such a sweetheart. She's a sweet girl. Um, Serena, she's so enthusiastic about it, probably more than I am. She, like, literally is always like, oh, sorry. I'm, I get so bad about hitting the microphone. Um, she's like, when's your next video? Or what's your next video gonna be? She watches, she watches my videos. She's watched, like, every single one of my videos. Um, so she really supports me, and she's so happy and enthusiastic. She tells other people about my videos, like, <laughs> she's so cute, though. Uh, even, I love for her family. It's, like, a second family to me. Her mom watches my videos, too, and her mom, like, brags about, her mom, like, brags about me, like, my second daughter is YouTube famous. <laughs>
she asked like what ASMR was and all and I just told her it was something that it helps relax people and stuff like that and I told her I've been watching the videos for a long time and she was like okay like about it you know she wasn't she didn't care what I was doing but she was just like okay do what makes you happy basically so yeah but everyone else in my family my dad my sister, they all kind of just ignore the ASMR thing, me making ASMR videos. Like it's an elephant in the room. It feels a lot like that, to be honest with you. It feels like a lot, like they know about it. They, I think they figured out slow. sister figured out, I don't know how to be honest, I think my mom just told them, but they don't, they've never talked to me about it before, actually my brother has, and he sees it as a hobby, you know, nothing I should take seriously. Hey, it's me, ASMR, darling. <laughs> excited about doing this little ramble video. What do my friends and family think of my ASMR? What do they think? This is going to be interesting. Okay. So we'll first start off because that's the least complicated is our snapchat some of you figure some of you were around at that time it was just a big mess and then the whole twitter thing that same day i figured out everyone figured out i was crying all day <sighs> stupid stupid taylor logs on to twitter just to make sure, I don't know, I've had a feeling something was like, I don't ever use, I never used to use my personal Twitter, and I haven't been on it in like six months at that point, it's been, it was like so long, and I come to see that one of my old best friends, that I was best friends with all through middle school, three years of middle school, three years of high school, best friends with her for six years for six years and she's on Twitter making fun of me for my ASMR thing, making jokes about it, saying my name, literally putting my name out on Twitter, all this stuff about it and everyone's just like laughing, com not commenting, tweeting, laughing and favoriting and retweeting and you gotta think that this is to everyone in my old high school. Someone else's Twitter that she was making fun of me, brother has. 
and he sees it as a hobby, you know, nothing I should take seriously because it's not real. Just making videos and YouTube in general, he doesn't think it's a real thing. He doesn't actually understand that it's like a job almost to me, even though it was a hobby at first that turned into a job. And that's probably one of the best things that could happen with a hobby. Um, so yeah, he doesn't take it seriously. My sister doesn't talk to me about it. My dad doesn't really say anything. He just, I don't even think any of them watch my videos or ever watched one of my videos. and 
messages from people and I figure out that everyone on my Instagram or Facebook or 